What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I'm doing a highly requested video uh, and one that I think I've done something similar to this in the past um, but I don't think I've ever done this one specifically and that is my top five fountain pen recommendations for pens that cost ten dollars or less. Uh, in fact, I believe out of the list that I have, uh, only one of them costs $10, all the rest are less, some of which are even less than $5. Um, I currently own three of them. Uh, the other two I have used, um, but I don't own any more. Um, and the reason why is just, well, you'll have to stay tuned to my 2020 fountain pen collection video to find that out because I did not stick to my 2020 goal of 20 or less, so yeah but let's jump right into it shall we uh first on the list something i talk about quite a bit and that is the platinum preppy fountain pen this one retails i've seen it anywhere between three dollars and 95 cents us uh to four dollars and 50 cents us um for an individual pack but a lot of retailers will group them together um, and there's another one i'm going to talk about too that has that as well um, this Platinum Preppy, I recommend to pretty much anyone starting out uh, because it's very, very cheap. Um, so if you like the experience of it, then you can kind of invest further. If you don't like the experience of it, then get out of here. Uh, no big deal. You did not invest a ton of money. Um, and the reason why I recommend this one for those two parameters is because as cheap as it is, it's actually a pretty decent writing experience. Um, you don't sacrifice a lot of that. And you can also choose between two different nib sizes. Uh, there's a 0.3 and a 0.5. Um, this one that I specifically have here is a 0.5. So it's kind of like a, a fine, extra fine slash fine versus fine slash medium uh, for the two. So I really like that because then it gives you more options for such inexpensive pens. Um, the pens themselves are purely plastic. There's nothing fancy about it. It's very lightweight, um, but I do appreciate the fact that you can see the feed um, in the models, which is really cool for somebody who's never used a fountain pen before because then they can actually see how it works. It's also cool for people like us who have seen or been around the block many, many times um, and just think that it's cool. <laughs> So we know how it works. We know that it's happening on all of our other pens, but it's still pretty pretty cool to see that. Um, that said though, the construction of the pen, despite the fact that it's super duper cheap, uh, is still well made. Uh, again, super cheap plastic, but you still have you know a spring-loaded seal on the inside. Um, you can eyedropper convert the entire pen. That is a little bit more of uh, an investment because then you have to buy silicone grease and then you also have to buy ink. Whereas if you just buy the pen, you get a cartridge with it, pop that right on and you're good to go. Uh, but it does give you some you know, maneuverability if you decide you like it. Um, you wanna take it one step further but aren't ready yet to invest in more pens. Um, or for those who've been around forever, this is a great, great pen uh, to have kicking around um, just to do whatever with. You can lend it to people, you can take it, you know, places, you can kind of do whatever and you don't have to worry about it the same way that you would worry about maybe like, you know, a $20, $30, $100, $1,500 $1, pen. Who knows? <laughs> um, so that is definitely uh, my, I wouldn't say number one. All of these like five are just sort of like mingling in uh, I would say though, if I had to force pick, that would probably be my number one. My number two would be Pilot's version of essentially the same thing. This is the Pilot Varsity. Um, again, I've talked about this one at length. This one uh, retails individually for about $3.30 US. Uh, or you can buy packs of them that do exceed the $10 limit. Um, you can buy like packs of seven, packs of 10, but I'm just talking about the individual pen. <laughs> so it, it counts. <laughs> um, this one happens to be the black one, uh, but you can get whatever color you want and it is pre-filled, which means uh, for somebody who's never used fountain pens that want to get into it, it's plug and play. You buy it, you open it and you start writing, you're good to go. Um, for somebody who has been in the game a lot, 
Uh, I like these for travel um, because then I don't have to bring any ink. I don't have to bring, uh, you know, like a billion different pens, cases, all this kind of stuff. I just grab one of these. If I lose it, if I break it, it's not going to break my heart. Um, I've had this specific one. Oh my gosh, probably like four, maybe five years. Uh, and it still writes beautifully. Um, it hasn't clogged up. It hasn't done anything like that. Um, it is technically considered a disposable fountain pen. Um, so it doesn't quite, you know, do very well for the environment, but it is great for beginners and advanced users alike who want to just kind of take something and go. Uh, there are hacks out here to refill these, but nah, <laughs> I'm not about that life. Um, so I really, really like this one. Uh, super duper convenient. Uh, the build is actually very, very nice. The clip is like flimsy. You know, you don't really, you don't really need it or use the clip, but everything else is really, really nice. So I like that quite a bit. Uh, my next recommendation is one that I don't have currently, but I do have a review of both of what I'm going to talk about. Uh, so if you want to check that out, check my channel. Uh, it's the Jinhao X750, uh, and that retails for $9.90. Uh, so it's fairly close to the $10, um, or you can get the X450. Essentially, they're the exact same pen, but just the 450 is a heavier version of the 750. Um, but everything else is pretty much going to be the same. Uh, for those who have been in the fountain pen game for a while, you're probably familiar with the Jinhao brand. Um, it's pretty popular and you can get a million different kinds. Um, you know, I don't want to speak ill of the company, but there's carbon copies of very expensive fountain pens, if you catch my drift. Um, so you can certainly uh, get your hands on a lot of those types of pens. Um, I actually really like the way that Jinhao writes. Um, it's similar to the, the Preppy and the Varsity in that you're going to get a pretty decent experience. It's not going to blow your mind away, um, but, you know, it's a pretty decent experience. Uh, moderate flow, uh, relatively smooth, not really, like, too scratchy. You can get some that are scratchy. I mean, that's like just any fountain pen. You could spend $3,000 on a fountain pen and it happens to be scratchy. Um... You and like it, it the X750 I prefer because the X450 is a little too heavy, um, but it's cool that you can kind of balance those, they're about the same price. So, if you've been in the game a long time and you know you like heavier pens, then you can get the uh, 450. But for newbies, I'd recommend the 750, um, only because newbies are typically used to um, like ball points, um, that basically weigh nothing. Um, so it's sort of like a stop gap between that, um. So I really recommend that. I also like Jin Hao's because you can replace the nib as you either if you're in the game a long time or if you're new, uh, you can replace a lot of the Jin Hao uh, pens with uh, any number six size nib. So you can get uh, like Goulet replaceables. Uh, you can get like, you know, Franklin Kristoff replaced. You can get basically any Yovo or Bach number six size nib and you're good to go. Um, and I think both of those pens come with a uh, cheaper converter as well. I'm not 100% on that, but I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, so it sets you up for success. Uh, another one I recommend, uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend specifically this one for a new, new, new person, uh, but for somebody who's been around in the game a little bit, uh, this is our $10 pen right here. This is the Pilot Parallel Fountain Pen. Uh, this one that I specifically have, not that you can tell because whoo, that ain't focusing, uh, is the six millimeter Mac Daddy fountain pen. Basically, it is like a brush. <laughs> uh, I only use this one uh, to put like glittery inks in when I do like holiday cards or just kind of messing around with it. Um, I don't typically use this one very often in the year um but i did buy the whole set uh which would obviously be more than ten dollars but you can buy them individually for about that um i did buy them all but i have since sold them because i don't use them very often i don't particularly like um like uh, 1.1s or stubs or things like that which i know a ton of people do um it's just not my writing style i'm primarily a journaler so i prefer um you know fine to to medium nib uh options 
but I like having this 6.0 millimeter uh, in my collection just in those like rare uh, occasions when I basically want to paint something. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, there's, a, there's a whole thing with these. I mean, you can get Pilot Parallel ink specifically. If you get two, you can mix them together. Uh, you can eyedrop or convert the whole body if you wish to. Um, there's a lot of versatility with these. Uh, again, I've seen hacks with these where they've taken the Pilot Parallel nib and feed. They've removed it from here and they've put it into other pens. I've never tried that. Uh, but... I've seen it done uh, and it looks pretty cool, uh, Franken-Pen as you would call it. Um, yeah, so I would really recommend them. The most popular one is probably the 1.0. Um, so that one I would maybe recommend starting out with rather than the 6.0. Um, but if you've been in the game a while and you want a pen that's totally different from your collection that, you know, doesn't cost an arm and a leg for, um, maybe something like this. The whole body's plastic. Um, but again, I've had this for four or five years also, uh, I think actually probably five or six, um, and it's done me no wrong. Um, I quite like it. Again, you get versatility, so you can choose different kinds. Um, and it's just a nice versatile thing that can kind of offer a little bit of flair in that collection. And then lastly, um, is a pen that again, I don't have, but I've used, I don't know why I'm shaking my Caveco around. This is not on the list. It just happens to be in front of me. <laughs> it's the uh, Faber-Castell School Fountain Pen. Uh, it retails for $7.70. If you're wondering why I'm looking down, it's because I wrote them down uh, so I don't forget the price of them. Uh, so the Faber-Castell School Fountain Pen, $7.70. Uh, it's the same steel nib uh, that you're going to get on um, a lot of their uh, fountain pens. So there's ones that you can buy that are more expensive, uh, that have like different body shapes um, that are made out of different material, but you're gonna get the same writing experience. Um, the body is mostly plastic um, and the, it kind of looks almost like a um, uh, Lobby Safari. Um, and I believe it had the triangle grip, uh, no triangle grip. So it kind of looks like the Lamy Safari, but no triangle grip, which I know is a hit or miss thing for a lot of people. Um, the reason why I recommend this one specifically is because Faber-Castell is a pretty good um, brand. <laughs> oh, I can't ever get through a video without an appearance. Uh, Faber-Castell is a really good brand um, and this is a really good way to get into that brand. Um, where you're not spending a whole ton of money. Um, like I believe it's the Faber-Castell Loom, which I also have a review of on my channel. Um, it's the same nib, but you just get like an upgraded body. So if you really like the writing experience of the school pen, then you can spend a little bit more money um, and then do that. <laughs> um, so it's a really great way to get introduced to that brand. Um, I sold it because it was a little too light for me. It is an all plastic pen. Um, and again, stay tuned for the 2020 collection because yeah, <laughs> let's just say, um, a lot of those make an appearance. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so those are my top five, uh, picks for under $10. The Platinum Preppy, Jinhao X750 slash 450, Pilot Parallel, um, Fabric Castell, Pilot Varsity, Platinum Preppy, Pilot Varsity. I always mix those up. <laughs> um, but let me know in the comment section, like what are your top five picks for under $10? I stuck with $10 US, uh, just because most of you guys who uh, watch my content are from the States. Uh, Canada, the pricing may be a little bit higher because pff, always. <laughs> Um, but they're still very affordable pens. Um, so I still recommend all of them. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section down below, what top five pens under $10, uh, do you like the most? And do you recommend, uh, to newbies or to experienced users alike? Uh, guys, I appreciate you watching this. I really, really do. It means a lot to me. Uh, hit that like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more like it every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. <sighs> Happy holidays, guys.
I'll see you next time. Bye.